Hello everybody, Chris Wood here. Congratulations to Blair Hardy, you fucking scumbag piece of shit, lowlife garbage, who sucks OPP cock. You are a murdering fucking piece of shit. You are nothing but filth garbage, Blair Hardy. You're lucky that you blow Spencer Mills, Ontario Provincial Police, to commit homicides. You are pure fucking filth, you delusional bastard. William Bill Waldridge, you serial killing motherfucking lowlife piece of shit. You think because you're Hell's Angels that you obviously have proven that you can get away with any crime you fucking well want. Congratulations, Ontario Provincial Police, Lennox and Addington County, Napanee, Ontario. You are guilty of murder in the first degree, premeditated, conspired with intent to commit. Revenge, retaliation. Serial killer, Lennox and Addington, Ontario Provincial Police, Spencer Mills, 14716. Pedophile ex-chief, now High Commissioner to Ontario Provincial Police. Biggest fucking pedophile going. Staff Sergeants. Shannon Cork. Robert Kane. Robert Lucas. Stacy, mental health worker. And Shelley Hafner. Congratulations to Dr. Tatiana V. Lennox and Anakin County General Hospital. Dr. Joy Hadley, Dr. Barton, Dr. Pritchard, Dr. McGregor, Dr. Waldron, Triage Nurse Terry, Triage Nurse Tanya, Triage Nurse David, and Paladin Security Guard, William Bill Waldridge, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Javen Allstein, and a guy named Mike, Allie Cooper, Bucktooth Bob, Ray Ray, Sam, Hope Mills, Michelle, the fat, the, the fat skank, the obese fat skank that lives on the corner of Center and Thomas. I believe that she is Billy Woldridge's inbred daughter. There is a Kim Della Rossible. There is a Brandy. They live on Water Street. There is Maggie Falls. There is Bert Hustler. There is Shelly Barche. There's Tyler Lake. Once again, Javen Alstein. You are all guilty of using remote neural monitoring on me. You are all guilty of aiding in this identity theft on me. And you are guilty of attempted fucking murder, whether you know it or not. You're lucky that you all are OPP money paid co-offenders and drug fed little fucks who suck their balls to commit homicides. OPP, you are officially guilty of murder in the first degree, like I said. Time's bought. My identity theft is done. I feel nothing of my consciousness. I feel nothing but air going through my head. I'm being numbed down to be dumbed down. The back of my head has been completely fucking, feels like air going through it to deform it. I have something in the back of my head right at that spot in the back of my head like a fucking tube. And it's pumping something through my body. And it's also pumping air through me. Luckily, I cannot go to the fucking hospital. I'd just be kicked out by Paladin or they would not see me. And I'd like to know what kind of trouble accusations Lennox and Addington County Administration is uh, bullshitting about me going there causing fucking trouble in the past. What the hell is that about? I would certainly like to fucking know. The only problems I've caused is me trying to save my life and getting the fucking doctors that are nothing but co-committers here for Lennox and Addington OPP to do their fucking jobs and actually save a life instead of being a part of a criminal organization and helping taking it for fucking inmates. My identity theft is done. Go arrest William Billy Woldridge, you fucking lowlife terrorist. Go arrest your boss and let's see the resemblance between me and him or my old self, you little fucks. He lives at 149 Center Street North and you damn well know that because you deliver his fucking drugs every day. Who's the blonde haired cop that shows up to Billy Woldridge's at 149 Center Street all the time? Is she delivering his drugs or is she giving him information? 
who's the blonde haired cop the opp blonde haired cop with blonde curly hair that goes to waldridge's all the time is she delivering his drugs is she the one delivering his money to him you delusional fucking piece of shit so congratulations on my identity theft this is what happens when you speak of police crimes this is how opp frame victims this is how they traffic their victims and this is how they murder their victims using inmates using psychiatric patients using remote neuro monitoring and other tech to mentally fuck people up to have them live through them to completely deform and destroy their bodies for them you are nothing but sick fucking pieces of shit spencer mills and opp this is how you commit your sex slavery this is how you this is how you human traffic this is how you commit your sex slavery. This is how you frame your victims. This is how you traffic your victims. And this is how you're murdering them. You're using fucking junkies, inmates, that you so you can play Pontius Pilate. Giving them this fucking dangerous tech to use on people to fry people's brains. To mentally fuck them up. In hopes that they go crazy so you can unjustifiably, justifiably have a means to lock them up traffic them that's what it's about because there's nothing legal that opp does i've proven it for the last three years you are nothing but fucking terrorists and the reason you became cops is to commit the crimes you are committing and i will not be proven wrong because you know that when you commit your crimes and you get caught for them you get a paid fucking vacation the public People being stupid as we are actually pay these motherfucking terrorists to lock us up illegally, to beat on us, and to murder us for their benefits, and we pay them for it. Giving them fucking vacation for homicides, selling children, committing financial thefts and frauds, robbing fucking welfare and disability people collecting insurance putting insurance policies on victims and then killing their victims and collecting on it isn't that right spencer mills opp 14716 with blair hardy who happens to be a rape hound that's right yeah jay banalstein was with a guy here in napney his name was jack clark he was with him two days prior to the guy being killed Jabin Alstein knows exactly what happened and he was involved with it. Blair Hardy, he is guilty of raping a woman named Olivia that used to live here in Napanee. She is now gone. She passed from a drug overdose and I do not mean in any way, shape or form to talk ill will of her. But the fact of the matter is, is Blair Hardy actually tried to rape her when she was up here where in my building where I live, visiting my ex-neighbor, Mike Gordon. He would, they were all up there getting high and he proceeded to try to rape this woman. So yes, he rapes females. He's a pedophile. And he is also a boyfriend to Spencer Mills 14716. You fucking goof. This is how you frame people for your benefit using these fucking pieces of shit. I'm the end of my bloodline, so OPP, you are guilty of mass fucking murder. You do realize that, don't you? I know you don't care. I know you don't give two shits and I know you don't have to prove nothing because this homicide will get you a paid vacation with a lot of money. And you know it. So, this is what happens when you speak police crimes in Napanee. You will be injured. You will be tortured. You will be medically blacklisted. You will be sex assaulted. You will be kidnapped. You will be falsely arrested to deflect crimes against you. You will be stalked. You will have your parents murdered. And it will be 100% revenge retaliation. And Spencer Mills and the rest of them will get away with it because of their fucking badges and because of their positions.
They are plain and simple terrorists. You are hell's angels. You are banditos, organized criminals. Every last OPP and any cop that has come against me on orders from them, from any of the ones named, you are guilty of aiding and abetting in their homicides. You are guilty of aiding and abetting in their crimes, whether you know it or not. So therefore, they are a threat and danger, not only to society, but to other cops that they can use to order, give orders to, to unjustifiably follow those orders to commit crimes with and for these fucking bastards. I've done nothing wrong but report on crimes on me. I have no criminal history. I was only charged falsely through OPP and the doctors just to deflect the crimes on me and to, in an attempt to give me a record. So you could fucking try to get out of the crimes that you're getting away with now. Trying to keep having me falsely charged to keep me away from the hospital for eight plus almost nine months. So you could so you could have this finished on me to buy more time because that's what that was about. Remember, people, this is how Lennox and Addington, Ontario Provincial Police, human traffic. This is how they frame innocent people who speak up and try to save lives against them. And this is how they frame their victims. So, Chris Wood is dead. William Bill Waldridge, congratulations, you fucking murdering pieces of shit. You're lucky that you are untouchable. You're lucky that you own OPP. How many murders have you actually really committed, OPP? How many bloodlines have you ended for pleasure, for revenge retaliation? How many has the hospital doctors covered up for you? How many murders has Dr. Tatiana V actually signed off on your fucking victims for her girlfriend, little bitch, Stacy, at Lennox, or at, in Kingston, which was the Daily Tea Company here in Napanee? Human trafficking vindictive fucking bitch. You're using tech to mentally fuck victims up. You're using it to change identities, to frame people, to completely destroy them, have them medically blacklisted, your lies against them to justify your crimes. How fucking dare you? Who the fuck do you think you are, Spencer Mills? Seriously, who the fuck do you think you are, OPP? Besides a bunch of fucking terrorists, Lennox and Addington County Hospital too. You exist just to cover up crimes for the police here and yourselves. And I have fucking proven it over the course of three years. Spencer Mills 14716, you are a serial killing piece of shit garbage. The XOPP chief, you are nothing more than a fucking pedophile, whether you're the high commissioner or not. Any kids around this piece of shit needs to stay away from him because they are threats and dangers. He has sex slavery dungeons in this town before he fucking left. This is the kind of sick bastard that you go to for protection. I spoke up of their crimes out of the Morning Star mission, the homeless human trafficking and the, and the exploitation that they were doing the homeless exploitation for monetary gain. And as a result, in other crimes, and as a result, I became a victim after XOPP chief, now high commissioner to Lennox, or now to Ontario Provincial Police. Back in August of 2019, while he was riding by in a fucking white Jeep Wrangler and the bastard waved at me. And when I waved back, that was a sign because your little boy in the black truck, and I believe it was Staff Sergeant because this person had black hair. And the one that fucking rapes people, he is his Staff Sergeant. He's approximately 30, 35 years old. And he is maybe about six foot to six foot five. He's a tall son of a bitch and he is a serial sex offender with Billy Waldridge, their boss. 
But anyway, as far as the XOP chief, OPP chief goes, Billy Waldred used to get, he used to stalk children at Tim Hortons for the XOPP chief for sex slavery, for pedophilia. You get raped, sodomized, or anything else by cops in this town, and you even go to the Justice of the Peace. They have them to cover their asses, too, because she'll just make hallucinations against her, against them to make it worse for them, to obstruct, to save her cops' asses. And the day that I went in there, it looked like she just railed a big line of cocaine, and, and she smelled of whiskey at 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm there to make I'm there to make statements against police to get arrest and people involved with police and she wanted to have a cop stand in the same room behind me where he could easily fucking do something and I had to tell this guy he's a bald guy that works at the courthouse here in Napanee and I had to tell him that to get away from me I had to tell him with him standing behind me and me making statements with cops and being alone in a room with this piece of shit with the justice of the peace who works with him for him. I had to tell him to get the hell away from me because I was in fear of my life that he might try something. So. You've done everything to try to stop me from getting arrest on Waldridge and doing everything to get medical help for myself and to prove the crimes against me. Time's been bought. My identity theft is done, you fucking goops. Congratulations, I guess my name, I guess I'm being turned into a fucking Waldridge. OPP boss cocksucking little piece of shit, along with Blair Hardy who happens to blow... Spencer Mills, 14716. You wanted to turn me into a dummy. You wanted to turn me into a vegetable. Somebody that couldn't think. Somebody that couldn't talk. Having their brain burned out of their fucking skull. Yeah. So I couldn't be thinking about what you're doing to me. So I, so you get away with it. Like all of this is fucking normal. You're lucky that you have use of tech that nobody knows about or even will research even when proven to them. You're very lucky with that, OPP, Spencer Mills, and Waldridge, and the rest of you fucking terrorists. So yes, OPP, it is official. You are now guilty of murdering my mother. You're guilty of murdering me because Chris is pretty much dead. If I can get a brainwave scan or an MRI or something... And my body damage is actually checked out from you fucking bastards mutilating me while keeping me from help. All of this could be proven. My autopsy, when I am murdered, it will fucking prove all the damages that you've done to me, you pieces of shit. How fucking dare you deform my skull? How dare you fucking use this on me to to frame me as wanted sex offender inmates to justify crimes on me? That you are guilty of. You are pathetic, sad excuses for anything. You are not human. You're Satan worshipping fucking parasites, OPP. Along with Billy Waldridge, along with Blair Hardy, along with your little blowjob queen, Tyler Lake, and your little other blowjob queen, drug traffickers, Javen Alstein, your buddy Mike, you're using these fucking homeless people, all the junkies, so you can play Pontius Pilate. Luckily, I cannot go to a hospital. I've tried to go to Belva Hospital to get help, but they see my falsified file coming from a French doctor that works there and then go into Kingston General Hospital and them getting fucking phone calls stating that I'm suicidal and I'm on drugs. I do not do drugs, you pieces of shit. And that was also found out the day that fucking Shelly Hafner had me kidnapped illegally through her incompetency bullshit. And that was done to shut me up and so you could get my blood in pits so I'm not talking and showing about what I'm talking about and showing now. And how you are doing it. And I bet I am not the only one here in Napanee. There is probably many others so congratulations OPP. Not only are you guilty of murdering my mother, but you are guilty of murdering an entire bloodline, like I've just said already many times right now.
I realized I re repeat myself. I have no feeling or stimulation in my head anymore. Only these bastards broadcasting through me, changing me. Like I said, if I share any DNA with any fucking inbred Waldridge or any of these other bastards that are working with them for OPP to commit homicide who are untouchable, you're fucked. Buy all the time you want, you fucking scum. You terrorist bastards. Three years of buying time. Three years of arrest refusals except for on your victims. Three years surrounding hands on guns being laughed in your face, being laughed in my face at over Woldridge's arrest because he's your boss. Medically blacklisted, medical treatment refusals, all the lies out your ass that you don't have to fucking answer for so you can get away with your crimes. Using poor, homeless, elderly, natives, disabled, you're fucking racist. Families of murdered and missing is Ontario Provincial Police and their inmate scum that they use their little drug dealing junkies at least in Napanee and the Lennox and Ennington County General Hospital that covers their crimes with and for them with criminal negligent intent using pellet and security to kick people out to cause them serious lung damage and harm so you do not have to treat them to help cover up your crimes you okay you fucking cocksuckers that hospital needs to be shut down, and the doctors, every one of them that worked there, Joy Hadley, Tatiana V, Waldron, McGregor, Barton, Pritchard, Tanya, David, Terry, you all need to be arrested. You need to be felony criminal fucking charge. You should not be doctors. You should not be working anywhere in medicine because you are fucking killers. You're aiding inmates in crimes. How long have you been Hells Angels or Banditos, are you? Or are you child buyers and sellers with them? <coughs> Making accusations. I'm fucking phoning the hospital and harassing people for phoning and stating that I, what's taken place with me through the doctors and what needed to happen. Criminal stuff, how they needed to go to prison, how they needed to be arrested. So as a result, you co-conspired and came up with this bullshit of me harassing. And that was the attempt to get me arrested and charged for this to in an attempt to give me a record. OPP themselves can even prove everything. I've been proving it myself, but it's from my pictures that they took from my now mugshot from my illegal arrest to justify their fucking crimes on me can even prove the changes and differences from back then. December it was done of 2021. Pretty much almost a year ago. Anybody that lives in Napanee, have you, if you've had any dealings with Lennox and Annington, Ontario, oh, by the way, Wellington, Ontario Provincial Police in Wellington, Ontario, are involved as well in human trafficking out of the sandbanks. William Bill Waldridge is also from Picton too, and they work under him as well. So they are human trafficking, Wellington OPP are human trafficking with Lennox and Anakin OPP, and they're doing it through the sandbanks and on their end. Numb me down to dumb me down in hopes that I'm not talking or thinking about this. You've done every have you done everything OPP to try to discredit me. You've done everything OPP to try to stop me from proving what I'm proving and showing what I'm showing, so you can get away with what you are getting away with. There's no use hiding anything. This is fucking done. My identity theft is done, and I no longer feel my consciousness, my true self anymore. From having these bastards broadcast through me, injure me, 
And no, this is not mental illness. I do not hear voices. I do not have hallucinations. I'm no schizophrenic. That's for fucking sure. I don't have multiple personalities. I don't have delusions thinking I'm somebody I'm not. Like a certain person I tried to talk to yesterday, right? Russell, the guy that works in this building that is bug infested. I can't even, I, I live in a building right now that is so damn bug infested, I can't even sit a cup of coffee down on my coffee table without bugs crawling in it. There is bugs, cockroaches, and everything else. This building is so badly infested. They're all over my fucking beds. They're all over my floors. They're all over my cupboards. I have bugs in my fucking fridge and my cupboards even. This is how bad it is in this building that I live. Although I am in the middle of getting a, a, a rent eviction from these people. <laughs> they go by the name Ontario Corporation. And they are a bunch of rent evictors, a bunch of rent, a bunch of rich people going around buying buildings and then illegally kicking them out to up the rent. Stating that they're given reasons for evicting people is so they could there's four apartments in the building I live in and They said that they were going to kick everybody else to fix up the building Because I live in a two-bedroom the place next door was a one-bedroom and then there was another One bedroom and then the building the one on the end was a two-bedroom So they wanted to take all four apartments and turn them turn them into two three bedrooms And that's not what they're doing. They're just re-renovating each apartment to up the rent And then when they're giving people notices they are not giving them proper notices at that But yeah I have bugs, it's so bad in here. I have bugs in my fucking fridge. I have them in my freezer, in my, in my, uh, um, refrigerator, in my freezer, in my cupboards. You cannot sit down in my house and on the toilet to have a shit because bugs crawl up you. So you have to kind of squat in my house to even have a bathroom and that's fucking disgusting. Anyway, I have said my little rant. I have came on here to let everybody know what has taken place with me. And it is all 100% true. It is all 100% real. Just like me stating that William Bill Waldridge and Blair Hardy back in 2020 were stalking my mother. William Billy Waldridge was calling my mother mom. They were both using remote narrow monitoring on her cause with her age, cause tumors, causing cancers, causing her death, was done with intent to do this to me, and I will not be proven wrong. It's been premeditated since 2019, since the beginning, the revenge retaliation against me from OPP, and I will not be proven wrong. They take their victims, they fry their fucking brains to cause memory losses, to, cut, to, to get out of criminal civil lawsuits, and to get away with the crimes that you were getting away with. My bloodline and my identity's already gone, so you've done enough. You totally mutilated my fucking insides while keeping me from getting help. The police you think you know. And the doctors that co-commit and cover their crimes up with them. I'm getting air pumped through my head. It's kind of funny how my head goes flat to round to short to long to whatever. And I've been proving every bit of it. So. Go to 149 Center Street North and arrest your little bastard. I'm not coming to OPP to get it done because I'm not going to be shot for you to protect him. I'm not going to be shot by you bunch of fuckers so you can protect your boss. And so he can continue. You're protecting him because you need him not only to commit homicides for you. 
but you also need him to continue stalking children for you. He's aiding you with your insurance frauds and, I, and other crimes that you are committing. You need your child stalker around, don't you, OPP? Three years of this and proving every single bit of it. I'm basically becoming a fucking clone of Billy Waldridge and Blair Hardy. And like I said, if I share any DNA with any of you bastards, I, you are done. No threat. But if I share any DNA with any of you bastards because of this to me, you're fucked. You better hide. You better stay in hiding, Blair Hardy. And you better stay in hiding, Billy Waldridge at 149 Center Street North. Because I will do what I have to do. I find out that I share any DNA with any of you, and you're fucked. Make no mistake about this, you terrorist pieces of shit. You're lucky you have so much protection for the crimes that you commit. If anybody wants to commit homicide, you come see OPP Spencer Mills. If anybody wants to commit pedophilia, you go see OPP or Billy Waldridge or Blair Hardy. If anybody wants to commit identity theft, you go you go see OPP, Lennox and Edmonton County, Ontario Provincial Police. Spencer Mills or Billy Waldridge of 149 Center Street North, Mr. Hell's Angels, tough guy. You're a fucking lowlife piece of shit is what you are. You're delusional. You don't know who the fuck you are because you're in a permanent mess psychosis. Perfect person to use to try to mentally screw someone up, right, OPP? To justify what you're doing to me? There will be no mistake in identity. I have prisoner tracking on me and the RM to read is one of these bastards, so there will be no more there will be no mistake in identity with this. Blair Hardy, you are a delusional fucking homosexual, and I am not gay. I am not gay, Spencer Mills, and I am not gay, Staff Sergeant. You already fucking, you already sodomized me and ripped my ass open and had, and had uh, Dr. Barton laugh in my face over it, and then had Dr. Pritchard try to have me committed for it because they're co-offenders with you, or co-offenders with you, and because I'm a man and because it was done by Waldridge and you their boss <sighs> okay I hope this is seen I hope this is taken serious I do apologize for all the cursing and swearing I, I, I do apologize for that I'm not about cursing and swearing I'm just being turned into a vegetable and I'm being seriously injured and I have no feeling in my head or my face and I am had all kinds of lies and everything else against me for these bastards to steal my identity which is done I no longer look anything like my old self nothing so yes this my identity theft is fucking done after this much of time after three years you finally did it you pieces of shit garbage Shit. This ain't working. <laughs> This is more my true image right here, whether it can be seen that good or not. But that is my, that's my true image. Not what is showing right here. This is Chris, but that's not my image. And this is Billy Waldridge, you fucking goof. 
three years of going through this and me talking that this was going to be the outcome. You mentally fucked the right side of my head. Now you're going after my left to completely destroy that, to completely destroy me and do this while you're sitting back pushing buttons on your cell phone, com computers, and Wi Fi. Nice going, OPP. Nice going, Lennox and Anderton County General Hospital that became doctors to commit homicides. One way or another, you will be arrested too and you will be charged. You are not above the law, even though OPP gave you the permission to be. Neither are they. They're self righteous, gun toting motherfucking terrorists with their co offending Hells Angels and Bandito inmates and drug fed money paid co offenders. Tyler Lake. Jabin Alstein, Ray Ray, Sam, Ali Cooper, Michelle, Bucktooth Bob, Mike, Curtis, Sarah, the obese skank on center in Thomas Street side door entrance, the little crack shack, Kim Delarossible, a woman named Brandy, <coughs> Maggie Falls, Burt Hustler. They're all the drug dealers and traffickers and all the ones doing this to me. So each and every one of you are guilty of attempted murder, you fucks. Have a good day, everybody. Love all. Hate none.